All right, I did my presentation on Shepard Fairey. Shepard Fairey is an American contemporary street artist, graphic designer, activist, and founder of the Obey Company. Um, so he made a lot of posters, um, street art, um, stickers, stuff like that. And it's more what a street artist um, does, and that what's that, that's what that means. Um, his little timeline on him, he was born in Charleston in 1970, Graduated Ill Wild School of Music and the Arts in 1988. He earned a BFA in illustration from the Rhode Island School of Design in 1992. Um, he made a Hope poster that was huge during the presidential campaign in 2008. And then he lives and works in Los Angeles currently. So when he was attending the Rhode Island School of Design, he created this campaign. And it was actually a sticker. And it was called... Andre the Giant has a posse. And what he says was, the sticker has no meaning but to exist only to cause people to react, to contemplate, and to search for their meaning in the sticker. So what he essentially means is he wants to see the people that find burden in it, who find it as a cult, an underground cult, an underground meaning, a uh, controversial meaning, versus the people who find it enjoyable, who like it, who find it humorous. So that was what the point of the sticker was, and it ended up boosting, and it was a huge phenomenon, and he later went to create a Obey clothing company off of this sticker. So Shepard has a lot of exhibitions, and I really wanted to show you some pictures of them, um, because they were really, really cool. Um, this one was from 2016, and it's called the Earth Crisis in Paris, France. He made um, lots of these like scale designs and ended up putting them all together in a ball and it hung from the Eiffel Tower at his exhibition, which I thought was really cool. That'd be really cool to go see. Here's another one and this these images are from the Harmony and Discord um, Pace Prints in New York, New York, 2015. Um, I really like his bold, um, the red, the blacks. Um, Everything makes you kind of think about it. Um, there's not like a real meaning behind them. You kind of see your own meaning in them. And that was a huge part of his artwork. He wants people to just think about his artwork, who find different meaning in it, mysterious. Um, and then this next slide, I have some images from his Fifty Shades of Black in Los Angeles from 2014. I love this one. This one is probably my favorite. Very controversial, um, different meanings. I love how he uses the eyes, the um, lines, the shapes. I really like all of his art pieces in this collection. So um, this image here is from his 2013 exhibition and it was called At Home, I Am a Tourist. That was actually in Spain. I like how he sets it all up. It's very bold. It makes a huge statement. Um, and he had exhibitions all the way from the 2000s. So he had like a lot of exhibitions. And they were all around the world. Which I found really interesting. Really cool. So here is his Obey clothing company that he later on created. From the Obey sticker, Andre the Giant. You can see him in each little pieces of his um, clothing company. This is a huge clothing company. I'm sure you have heard of it or seen it. I personally am a huge fan. I thought it was kind of cool that he was the one who ended up making it. I really liked that. Um, so then in 2008, this is when his career really boosted when he made the Hope poster for Barack Obama's presidential campaign. Um, he had some legal issues with this, but he did revise his artwork and came through the lawsuit um, and ended up creating two other ones called Change and Vote. And then he went on to make actually 500,000 of these posters and 300,000 stickers and just distributed them throughout this whole town and everywhere. And he actually ended up getting a handwritten letter from Obama thanking him for his support. And critics actually said that this poster made such a huge statement. It was the new um, I Want You Uncle Sam poster, which was really cool. Um, here are some more images. I really liked him in his artwork. I like how bold it is. Statements he makes, the red, the blues, the blacks is really great. I really liked him.